Hi YouTube family, it's your girl Maria. Um, I know I haven't updated in a while, so um, I'm going to upload several videos behind each other, which is primarily just two. The last video I did was when I was 15 days post-op, which was about two weeks ago. I am now on my going into my fifth week, but um, let's just back up, okay? So, my surgery date was August 7th, 2017. I had my surgery in LaGrange, Georgia at the Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center in LaGrange. My surgeon was Dr. Wesley Turton. My heaviest recorded weight starting at my consultation was 292 pounds. My surgery date weight was 275 pounds. And during my three-week um, post-op, I weighed in at 259 pounds. Um, I also had started my um, pureed soft food stage from days 15 post-op to, to day 29 post-op. Um, I've been struggling with proteins. I've been struggling with my liquids primarily. Proteins, I can get about 40 to 64 ounces, 40 to 60 grams of protein. But where I am currently, I'm supposed to be closer to 80, but it is what it is. Um, so during my three weeks post-op, I, you know, didn't experience any of the three-week stall issue that everyone seems to talk about. Um, I dropped down from 261 to 259 and um, pretty much just been relaxing and hanging out and things like that. I started back to work on September 5th, which would take me into my four-week post-op update because um, my surgery was the 7th of August and the 7th of September makes it a full month out. And here we are on September 11th, I believe, possibly. No clue, but I think so, yeah. <laughs> and um, that's the new addition to the family. That's Bam Bam, if you guys don't remember me mentioning him. But I got him the Saturday that I the Saturday after I came home from surgery. So where does that lead me now? Going into week four of my post-op updates. Um, I weighed in on Monday. I believe it was the 4th, which was Labor Day. I weighed in at 253.4. During my four-week post-op, I was able to convert over from the soft and pureed food stages over into normal foods. Um, with that being said, I still struggle a little bit, you know, with eating and things like that. I just have to make sure that the food is like super moist. So on, um, Labor Day, I went to my aunt's house and, um, I'm apologizing for jumping back and forth, but I went to my aunt's house and I had a half a burger, no bun, just a burger with cheese and mustard on it. Then I had a quarter piece of sausage. She had those like smoked sausage links. She cut them in half and then I took half of the half, which was just like one quarter of the sausage. I attempted um, some macaroni salad and some um, Spanish rice. I just had like a, just a regular normal spoonful of each. And I kept reminding myself protein first. So um, I was able to eat half of the burger and the quarter piece of sausage but when I tried to attempt the rice with the macaroni salad I couldn't get any of that in and that's pretty much all I had that day I tried to get a bottle of water in I was able to only get like a quarter of the bottle in for some reason water just tastes completely disgusting to me um that's been a struggle I've been pretty much drinking um watered down apple juice watered down diet juices um a power eight zero takes me like three days to get down so that's like impossible to, to you know to get through 
And since I started back to work, I'm still struggling with my fluids, but I'm working on it. I said, you know, every day is a new day to try at least. And that's what my nurse tells me to at least try because going to the hospital to get fluids is not going to help the problem. It's not going to fix the problem. It's just going to mask it. You have to try. Um, what I've been eating, um, I've had scrambled eggs, I've had a hard boiled egg, I've had a soft boiled egg, I've had, let's see, I've had the refried beans or the pintos and, pintos and cheese from Taco Bell with a side order of their shredded chicken with sour cream. I've been able to mix that up and that takes me about two days to eat because just a little bit at a time. I've had that. Um, I've also attempted the Wendy's chili with cheese. I've also, um, that's when I, you know, have things out to eat. I've also have had the grilled chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A. I got a pack of, I got a, eight, a pack of eight ordered grilled wing, um, grilled nuggets, and I was able to eat four wings at a time. That lasted me two days, you know, split it up. I've had um, mozzarella string cheese with oven roasted turkey wrapped around it. I've only been able to eat half of cheese stick at a time. I made um, lasagna wonton cups. I didn't make a recipe for it. I just, you know, had a little bit of ground beef in the refrigerator and use that with the rest of my ricotta cheese. I didn't want to go bad from when I made ricotta bake, which I also made that too during my pureed stage. Um, let's see, I've been able to get Premier Protein Shakes down. I don't like the chocolate favor protein shakes still. I prefer the vanilla. Um, I just finished drinking my last chocolate protein shake, as a matter of fact, to a, an attempt to get my 60 to 80 grams of protein in for the day, I took a chocolate premier protein. I took a scoop of Gene Pro, which is also 30 grams of protein, and I mixed it in with the chocolate premier protein, and I already got my 60 grams of protein in for the day. So I can, you know, even if I don't get that much more food in, because I can only eat like maybe two to three bites of anything, and I'm like so full. So my restriction is extremely tight. I haven't weighed myself because I'll be weighing myself tomorrow on Monday. But as of right now, with also with me experiencing my cycle for the first time since surgery last um, just a few days ago, I did notice that my weight went up two pounds and then it went right back down two pounds. So my cycle hasn't changed as far as the days. It's still two days at most and um, that's pretty much it with that um, I haven't gotten on birth control yet me and my husband we've just been using condoms which are expensive my god three packs of Trojans are like five to six bucks so yeah I gotta see about getting on birth control because mm -mm, condoms ain't gonna get it not that there's anything wrong with condoms, but I've been with my husband since 2005. So, and here we are in 2017, and no. Okay. Um, anyway, I've been, um, I still have my Premier Protein Clears. I'm going to see if I can get one more of those in today to go ahead and, you know, get close to 80 grams of protein. But fluids, um... Like I said, I've been having watered down diet uh, cran grape and diet um, cran mango and things like that. My um, nurse told me that I can have watered down apple juice. And um, that's the only thing I've been able to pretty much drink. I had the other day, you know those blue solo cups, like the red ones? Well, it was a blue one and it was like halfway filled with orange juice. I took that, put it in my Yeti cup, and put a 16 bottle, 16 ounce bottle of water in that, and I was able to get that in, get that down. Um, but plain water, bottled water, filtered water, it just 
makes my stomach turn. And I never had a problem with water before, but post-op surgery, it's just too hard. And even with my water enhancers, it still takes me like all day just to get 24 or 32 ounces down. So yesterday I attempted something and it seemed to have worked for me yesterday. I'm going to attempt it again today. I took my bottle of water, just a regular 16.9 ounce bottle of water. And I took, you know, those um, drops of lemon or lime, the little squeezy bottles. I put three squirts of that in my bottle of water along with three squirts of my stevi liquid stevia. Shook it up and it was the perfect flavor to where I was able to get down my bottle of water within like 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to attempt to do that again today and see if I can, you know, chug some more water. Not chug, but, you know, get some more water down. And if you haven't checked out my other videos, I do use a straw. Um, it seems to be a whole lot easier for me. It doesn't give me any gas or anything like that, but I've been able to get my water in with with sipping on a straw. If I don't use a straw, I just drink it straight from the cup. Um, I did buy, I, go, I went to Big Lots uh, like about a week or two ago, and I got the seasonal um, pumpkin, pumpkin spice uh, packet, the 96 count K-cup. It was on. It was sold for twenty nine ninety nine, and I found it on the clearance rack for nine dollars. So I have ninety six or about ninety something cups left of the pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice uh, coffee, pumpkin spice latte, and pumpkin spice uh, cappuccino. It's not decaf coffee. I'm able to ha I'm able to handle regular caffeine with no problem. I just put a premier vanilla in there and I've been able to get that down. That's another way I get my protein in in the morning as far as for breakfast. And um I still only count my premieres and things like that towards my protein and not towards my liquids. Let's see. Um That's pretty much been about it. I've um uh, I cooked dinner last night for me and my husband. We had chicken and mashed potatoes and green beans. Of course, I attacked the chicken first. It was a chicken thigh. I was able to eat the whole chicken thigh. Because yesterday, what did I eat yesterday? I had a premier protein on my way to work. For lunch, I had my broccoli and cheddar soup from Panera. I had a half a cup of that. And for some reason, I don't know what it was, but yesterday after I had that soup, I brought my husband home. I went back to work and I was in the bathroom three times within the, the first 15 to 20 minutes that I got back back to work. Literally, it just came right through me. So I guess that's probably why when I cooked dinner, I was able to eat the whole chicken thigh. Um, I had just a little teaspoon of the mashed potatoes and a couple of green beans and I was full and that was pretty much all I had yesterday I really don't I haven't been tracking like I was in the beginning but as of today I'm starting to backtrack my um foods on my fitness pal so um I changed my calorie count on my own because it was 400 calories a day so I pushed it up to six which I don't even think I've I've been getting close to 600 calories, especially with, you know, not being able to meet my protein goals or my fluid goals. If I don't drink my calories, unless you count, you know, the Premier Protein Shakes, which is nothing but 160 calories. And the Gene Pro is only 56 or 58 calories per tablespoon. And you get 30 grams of protein with that. So, um... Yeah, I mean, so far, so good. You know, just trying to, you know, be a good patient. I'm no longer cheating on anything. There's nothing really to cheat on because I don't really, I barely eat anything. But I'm just doing good. I'm getting, um, I'm walking around pretty good. I get my 10,000 steps a day at work and things like that. Um, I find myself, I work better 
with working out with a partner than I do on my own because I don't I just don't have the motivation to do it myself and my treadmill is sitting right there my kitten enjoys jumping on it but yeah I mean I wish I could get a gym membership but right now I can't afford to do so since I was out of work for like three to four weeks so maybe once you know I catch back up on things I'll try to see about getting a gym membership but for now I'm fine, you know, I'm mobile and I'm getting around and things like that. I'm still suffering from gas. Um, I, I don't think it's necessarily gas. I think it's more indigestion to where I have to take my um, Prevacid and things like that with the stomach acid. That's what it is, the stomach acid. Because your stomach is used to producing stomach acids for a full-size stomach. And we've had 80% of our stomachs removed with the gastric sleeve. So I don't want to develop any acid reflux or any GERD or anything like that. Because those are just problems that I don't need right now. So I think I've pretty much caught you guys up from 15 days post-op to 30 plus days. Um... So I'm a month out, month and a couple of days out from surgery, and I'm just going to hang out today since it's Sunday, and I'm off. I have to go back to work tomorrow, and yeah, so just wanted to give you guys an update and let you guys know what I've been up to, what's been going on, what I've been trying to attempt to eat, and things like that, so yeah. That's pretty much it. Alright guys, um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Leave them down below. I also have my Instagram and uh, I deleted my, I deactivated my Facebook account because, you know, trolls and things like that. But drop a question down below. Let me guys know if you have any questions or if you guys have any suggestions on how I can get my fluid intake in or different foods I can possibly try. And I will check in with you guys a little later. Bye.